Hey everyone, welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma, a homeschooling mum of three in the UK. And today I'm doing some homeschool planning. Um, I know that a lot of you have been asking me recently on Instagram and here on YouTube about um, how I educate my children. Um, and I've got some quite exciting videos coming up in the next few weeks. This one is about how I'm how I do my planning and what I what I actually do with them, like what my plans are um, with them for the next say few months. And a couple more we're going to I'm going to film every day for five days, showing you my children's home ed routine. We're going to talk about our timetable, and I'm even going to video me physically teaching them. Um, we've got some really cool stuff in the pipeline and I'm really excited to share it with you and hopefully ease some of your worries because I know some of you are quite worried about how to start home educating your children and really it's really it, it, it's so easy and I'm going to show you just how easy it is. So start for starters let's talk about how I home, ed my, home educate my children. We use unit studies and then we do maths and English kind of maths extra maths and English on its own. So I'm just going to go into onto my um, onto my lap. So our unit studies. We started doing unit studies because I just found it was really difficult to plan. So I'm really fidgety today um, to to plan several different subjects, and I wanted to make it more real world for them, to make it more engaging, to make it more of a, a whole person education. So we decided that we would start doing these unit studies and for example the other week we did um, amphibians so I covered in amphibians English, maths, science, art and music within that topic. How I hear you ask? Well we had the English was the English and the science was labelling parts of the frog, um, reading a story about a frog, labelling the frog life cycle, a frog life cycle writing frame, reading fiction and non-fiction books about frogs, so that kind of covered both English and science. Uh, maths, we do 30 minutes of Komodo maths, Komodo maths a day, and once a week they do a worksheet to practice writing their numbers and to using, using a pen. Um, the arts and crafts was making frog masks, uh, one of them did it out of, he used to cut out the template that I made for them, and they used tissue paper, another child coloured them in, another child just left it as it was, because it was already green. Um, and then the music, we learnt the actions and the words to five little speckled frogs. The older children already knew this, and I'll, but my younger child didn't, so that was fun teaching him, teaching him that. So the next thing we're looking at is ancient Rome. So we've got a Roman ebook that we're going to read together. We've got a Roman word search. We have um, Roman numerals for maths. So that was for English. We've got Roman numerals for maths. We're going to do Roman timeline ordering for history. And then we've got Roman mosaics and a Roman chariot model for art and cookery. My mother-in-law tells me she has some spelt flour and some Roman food recipes. So we're quite excited for her to come around and do those with us. And we've also got a Roman dance to learn. I'm not sure how well that will, uh, well, how well that will turn out, but it's worth a go. And Betty loves dancing, so you know, got to please everybody at least some of the time. Um, so going down, I'll. Uh, bring you down and you can have a look at my plan. Okay, so you can see my cursor here that we've got ancient Rome and then the next one we've got archaeology, astronauts, I do it in alphabetical order because it's just easier for me to remember, baking, bats, bears, birds, bridges, camping, castles, cats, cells, and that's as in, in your body, not jail ones. Chickens, that was a bit random. The children have helped me choose most of these. Circulatory system, clocks, clouds, communication, digestive system, dinosaurs, dogs, earth, earthquakes, electricity, elephants, eyes and seeing, family trees, famous artists, fire safety, floating, fossils, hearing and ears, immune system, insects, mammals, medieval times, nervous system, ocean, plants, plate tectonics and volcanoes, rain and water cycle, respiratory system, skeletal and muscular systems, space, stone age, titanic, that was a bit random, tornadoes, hurricanes and lightning, touch, smell and taste, wheels and axles. So as you can see, we have loads and we are just gonna keep working through them until we've done them all. Um, so you can see here that I've got my planning done um, up to five weeks at a time. I tend to stick with that. 
apart from if I've got any trips planned because then I need to um, kind of add a time frame to that so for example if we were doing rainforest and I wanted to go to the living rainforest that's about an hour away from us um, then I would need to plan that in advance even if I was doing it in three months time but I tend to plan about six weeks in advance um, just because that works for me no particular reason other than it's just I just find it easier that way so there's lo as I've said in my different types of homeschooling before there's loads and loads of different types of homeschooling and it really is up to you what suits your family and what suits your children I what suits me as a person is not what suits my children and that's where we hit stumbling blocks recently um, I actually found that my way of doing things how I felt comfortable teaching them and the content I wanted to teach them they were not interested in learning they were just like what and I think that's one of the biggest things that I've learned as a home educating parent is that my hopes and my dreams and my projections and and for them are not why I'm doing this um, their hopes and dreams and their goals for the future and what they want for their lives now and in the future is why I'm doing this um, yeah and that was a that was a big thing that's a big thing that was a big learning curve for me um kind of part of de-schooling myself and learning how they needed to be taught rather than how i naturally would teach people things that's been a really a big learning curve anyway i digress so my unit studies as i as i showed you um we're going on to ancient rome next followed by archaeology, astronauts, baking. Um, I'm going to plan a little bit more um, now. I'm going to do the next five weeks. Um, as you've seen from my other videos, um, I use Twinkle quite a lot and I have some other um, resources that I use. I enjoy looking on Pinterest. Um, and there's a few more websites that I'll put in the description that I also enjoy um, that I, you know, some are free and some I pay for. Um, and I, they're just, it's a real mix of different things that, um, that bring home education together. So for example, the next one that I'm about to start planning is Bridges. So I'm not entirely sure where we're gonna go with this. Um, I'm not entirely sure why my children want to learn about bridges. The only thing I can think of is that their aunt is a civil engineer who specifically works with bridges. Um, that's the only thing I can think of as to why they wanted to learn about bridges. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I know absolutely nothing about bridges. One of the things I know that I'm going to do in this is we're going to use various different materials, recycling and so on, to build some bridges. Um, but I'm not entirely sure what else we can do with that from a, you know, English, that, I mean, that's that kind of art and craft, but we, then we've got English, math, science, history, geography, modern foreign languages, and music and cookery. Um, I'm not entirely sure what we can do with that. I mean, London Bridge is falling down maybe for music or something like that, but I'm not entirely sure how we will do the other things um, i need to go research on my websites that i use and see what we can go with that it may also involve a phone call to my sister-in-law and saying teach me things about bridges so i can teach them um this is a great thing about having family members who have interesting jobs um you know later on when we um learn about um one of the things it's not on this list but it's one of the things we go so it is on this list sorry um 49 week 49 on this list is wheels and axles i also have another i have another sister-in-law who is an ambulance mechanic um i will be deferring to her about that um there's certain things um in here topics that i will also defer to my husband because he's just going to be able to um explain them a lot easier he's probably going to enjoy teaching them more than i am um so i will make sure that those are um, done on weeks when he's going to be around more. Um, for example, he's going to enjoy teaching the ocean week way more than he's going to enjoy teaching about medieval times. Uh, basically, it's just our skill set. I'm a history buff and he wanted to be a marine biologist. So, you know, we we work to our skills and, um, and those will definitely be topics that we will switch around. Um, 
he's probably not going to be interested in doing famous artists. I can, he's, in, he's in the kitchen right now and he just snorted when I said famous artists. Not interested in famous artists, darling. Whereas he might be interested in earthquakes and electricity. Uh, you know, ooh, he's just gone, ooh. <laughs> so anyway, so that's our plan. And I'm going to sit down and plan the next few bits now. I might leave Bridges until I've spoken to my sister-in-law. Um, and uh, move on to camping, castles, cats and cells. Um, and uh, see where we end up with those. You interested in helping me with any of those? What do you mean by cells? Not as in prison cells, as in cells in your body. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we go. He wants to do cells. So um, I'm gonna. I'm looking forward to castles. We actually have a castle ruin not too far away from our house, and there's actually a castle that's been restored even closer to our house. So that'll be a little uh, little uh, field trip to take them to see those. Um, Three of them, where's the third one? Corf. Oh, I didn't thought about Corf Castle. I was thinking Highcliffe Castle and then the ruins near the Priory. Um, um, the Corf Milford. Castle? What? Milford, Keyhaven, whatever that one is. Hearst Castle. Oh my gosh, so many castles. I'm looking forward to that week. I think South I don't. South Coast, they're behind the yeah. kids, didn't they? <laughs> so yeah, castles will be a busy week. We might have to make that two weeks because <laughs> otherwise we're going to be, be on field trips every single day. I'll get some more fuel in the car for that one then. Yeah, we need more fuel in the car for that one. So I'm going to get on with planning that oh, and um, you can watch me while I do it. See you in a bit. So I just messaged my sister-in-law and asked her um, some questions about bridges. I, she sent me back a huge message. I said, um, hello, just doing some home education planning and in a few weeks we're going to be doing a, a week-long topic on bridges as requested by the kids. I'm struggling to come up with ideas apart from a design tech project where they design and build a bridge. Any ideas? History, famous bridges, science and English is where I'm struggling. And she has just replied she says hi i will have a look at work tomorrow and see if i can find a suitable presentation and or activity as i remember we got sent around some useful stuff for doing stem which is science technology engineering and maths at schools the design tech project sounds good as you could do it as a scenario where you're pl where you're the client and they have to design a bridge for you they have to draw your designs to choose from then they could build a budget for building materials and build a bridge then test it using different objects could talk about forces and Newton's first law linking them to bridges. Another topic could be discussing the different types of bridges too. I didn't think of any of that. That is awesome. See, she's so cool. And if we didn't have her, I wouldn't have thought of any of that. That's gonna make this such a more interesting topic for the kids. Um, they're gonna get way more into it than, than they would have done me just giving the worksheets that I found on Twinkle. That's gonna be, I mean, I can make that all of the subjects because that's going to be English, maths, science, design and tech, you know, an art project, you know, and there's going to be history looking at other bridges. That's that's all of it, isn't it? Pretty much there. She's just given me all of my material. I just have to uh, put it into motion. Thanks, Rachel.
my video got cut short um, because the virus that you saw me have um, a little while ago has set off my asthma um, and I was feeling really really rough on Tuesday when I was putting that video together um, and on yeah so on Tuesday Tuesday night I was really really struggling to breathe and ended up having an, what I think what the hospital thought was an asthma attack um my husband ended up taking me to hospital we stopped not even a third of the way there and an ambulance took me the rest of the way it was a little bit scary really hard to breathe um but by the time I got to hospital my inhaler had worked and I was fine I had a chest x-ray and bloods and was having like half an hourly half hourly obs and I was fine by the time we were leaving, I was coughing still, but I wasn't breathless anymore. I had no tightness and I wasn't wheezing. So like everything was fine. Um, and I've been taking my inhalers 10 times every two to four hours ever since. And I'm actually feeling loads better today. I'm still coughing, but I have no breathlessness and no tightness at all. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. My planning got kind of got cut short because I was not feeling very well and obviously had to go to hospital so everything's fine now though and I've got a, um, a great video for you um, to be released on Saturday coming up so um, sorry for the lateness of this one I've been late a little bit a lot recently because I've been poorly but I'm feeling loads better now and hopefully I will get a really cool video for you on Saturday um, I hope you enjoy it and um, I hope you enjoyed this planning video and I will see you on Saturday. Bye!